<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the ABS show. You're watching me on the TV, so go ahead and subscribe, okay. like, share, mm, do all, all like of stuff. that. Mm. And after that, go on the our Instagram page yep. at the ABS show. Follow that as well. Alright? Okay, so hey everyone. Hey. hey. Alright, you're giving me color, you're giving me haircut, yes. you're giving me the dreads. Yes. Yeah, I'm feeling this. Thank you. What's the occasion? Just what are we celebrating? Beautiful. Celebrating you, Charlie. <laughs> celebrating oh. life. Yes. Oh, thank you. Uh -huh. All right, so let, <laughs> let's talk about this topic, okay? Mm -hmm. Rapper Quissy author has revealed in an interview that although he has money and can afford higher education, he will not. So when I saw that headline, I read into it, and I thought it was really interesting for us to talk about. Mm -hmm. So my question is, do you or do we necessarily need higher education to be successful mm -hmm. in today's world? What do you guys think? I think you do. Okay. Higher education is important. It has uh, the many grounds to benefit from actually having higher education. Go reading up to your um, tertiary education, go beyond that to your master's. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of value to it. You get to have confidence when you speak in society. You get heard more. You get your know, audience from people that matters because you have education. Mm. If, you, if you're rich but uneducated, well, my dear, a lot of things you stand to lose. Mm. Besides, it, money isn't everything, wow. all right? Status matters, societal status also. It, it kind of mends man, the bridge that social class, you know, holds. holds yeah. So it's Listen, important. When I hear that. statements like this, first of all, I go, who's making that statement? Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the first thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, Quissy Author just came out a few years ago. He's a rapper, successful. He has been nominated for BET Awards. Mm -hmm. And this is exactly what he said. To be frank, I have completed senior high school, but I have no plans or whatsoever to continue my education. When the interviewer was going in, are you sure, are you sure you're going to change your mind in future? He said, no, I'm not furthering my education. Now, that's where I have the problem. I'm not, college is not for everybody, higher education is not for everybody, but what's for everybody is a plan B. You have to have a plan B. Mm -hmm. If you are, you are playing sports, um, artists, anything can happen. You could lose your voice, mm -hmm. you can hurt yourself, mm -hmm. and now what you're gonna fall back on? Mm -hmm. Because there's no certificates to, to, you know, for you to fall back on, there's no um, degree. So for me, this statement is a little, you have to have a, a, a plan B, and that's I, where I'm, I'm okay. I get what you're saying, but let okay. me just be a little devil's advocate, even though I'm for education. Mm -hmm. If you look at the stats, the richest people in the world actually dropped out of school. Mm -hmm. Name them, name them. Can we Max, have some names? Max Zuckerberg. Mm -hmm. um, what's his name again? Bezos. Mm -hmm. um, Bill Gates. Trump. What who opens Trump? the gates. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Trump, but what <laughs> I'm saying Bush. is... George Bush. Mayweather <laughs> is really rich. Mayweather. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to education, it depends on the kind of education he's referring to, because mm -hmm. there are several, several levels to education mm -hmm. saying that you don't need education anymore you're already limiting yourself mm. I don't even see it as a plan B I see it as progress okay because if you are successful and you've made money there are so many other passions you have you might want to venture into the world of technology you mm -hmm. might want to create an app you might want to do something you might want to go into real estates like flipping of houses and you have no knowledge about those things at the end of the day you keep giving money to people that will be lying to you this one costs two million this one costs five million dollars at the end of the day your money goes down mm. but if you're not educated in that field by means of maybe crash programs one year classes even kanye anybody that wants to go into any field no matter how well they are they need some form of knowledge about yes. that field yeah so him saying he doesn't need any form of education is very limiting and for somebody in the 21st century i'm disappointed well he's really young he was born in 94 so Fine maybe boy. that's also part of it <laughs> Fine so, boy, maybe, fine boy, you know <laughs> so, education. so maybe that's also part of his decision because when you are young, you yeah. tend to make those yeah. quick decisions. Yes. And let's see, maybe in 10 years, he's going to change. But what you said reminded me of Tyra Banks because yeah. Tyra Banks, as we all know, very successful building this empire, but then went back to Harvard Business oh. School. And he, her reason was, I don't want to be sitting at the meeting and they're speaking big grammar and I don't know what I they mean. Know what they're saying. You know what I mean? So you have to educate yourself. And I hope Floyd Mayweather is listening because I let you <laughs> <laughs> he still can read and read certain things. But then, when you're rich, you can also hire a lawyer to read for you. Absolutely, yeah. and steal your money. The lawyer can, can <laughs> okay, read let it me, and tell you a lie. It's my goal. Yeah. So I think, that, I think that education is something that you can pick whenever. My grandmother went back to school when she was in her 60s, right? Mm. Wow. So it's up to you when you want to, you know, like, you pick that up. Sometimes you might not be ready. Like me, I said, I'm not going, I have my bachelor's. I don't want my math. I don't want master's or B PhD right now. I'm not interested, what? but maybe down the line I might be interested in it mm -hmm. because I just think that 
Beyond just formal education, you need street education. Mm. Because people could have the most degrees and most everything, and they don't know They're anything. The they streets. don't know how to navigate life. They don't right. know simplistic things. Mm. So it's really, literally, I think it's uh, it's levels, and it's also balance. Mm. Having street, having formal, like making sure that you have a little bit of everything to make you a, you know, a learned person. And well, I think well, in this life, we never stop learning. Mm -hmm. If you ever stop learning, that's a problem. Because everything, life is always evolving. Change always happens. So you should always think about. It. He can make this big, big, broad statement right now, but he'll be the same one. I'm sure he's he's researching, he's looking things up. So it, it's up to him on his time, his pace to do what he needs to do. But in the long run, like you said, how long will music carry you? But can I can I just say this too? Because mm -hmm. I feel like the value mm -hmm. of degrees are decreasing. Because Absolutely. you can have all the degrees you yes. want. Absolutely. Now you go into these job interviews. They are asking you, mm -hmm. what's your skills? Mm -hmm. How uh, experience mm -hmm. and. Also, they also go with you know references. That's Absolutely. one of the big things. Mm -hmm. you know. you, mm -hmm. And who you know, you can yes. have all these degrees, but name four references. I gotta call them and see yes. if you're a great person. Absolutely. If you have all the skills that you are saying. Mm -hmm. So then, what is the motivation for me going to college and getting these degrees when I have a master's degree, but I can't find a job? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know. So what yeah. is the motivation? Yeah. It's I mean, different, you though. have you you go you go for your master's, you get your master's, and and you don't have a job. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the thing is, you have it. You have your master's. It's never gonna leave. It's never gonna. It's not gonna expire and fizzle, fizzle But you have it, you're not using you have it. it. You eventually, when the time... Eventually. Wait, hold on. Wait, <laughs> wait, 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 Charlie, Charlie, hold on. The bills let is me, not going to wait to... Let me land before you bury okay. me. When the opportunity presents itself, you want to be able and ready. You want to have all the ammo that you need to, to take take charge of that opportunity. Mm -hmm. If you don't have your education and say, for instance, you get you go to the bar, you have your outside having a smoke or you're talking to friends outside and somebody comes out and you start a conversation with that person. Mm. Turns out the person is the CEO of whatever. Automatically, because you already went to school, you have your you have your verbal business card there. You sell yourself. Okay, well, I did this, I did that in school. This is what I'm able to do. You sell yourself. The person goes, okay, you know what? Come see me in the office on Monday. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right that there. Happens. You've had that for 10 years. You've had your master's for 10 years. And trust me, because I have Ten an MBA. Years. I have, trust me, mm -hmm. I have an MBA degree, mm -hmm. but I'm not working in my field. Mm -hmm. So I should I make you feel. Listen, Ooh, you know what? So I true. have it. It's money well invested. I have mm -hmm. it. And I'm proud of the fact mm -hmm. that I have it. Mm -hmm. Now, you want to have your MOs together. Mm -hmm. So when the opportunity, like I said, rears his head, you grab it because you know. I'm able to. If you don't have the degrees, mm. you now have that opportunity where you've had audience with a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Mm -hmm. Then what? That opportunity is gone. Time so you know, but I was going to say, I, was gonna say I, have a friend, I have a friend that yeah. I went to college. We went to yeah. college together. She dropped out. Yeah. She dropped out. She is a millionaire. Mm. That she, too. She, she's a, a millionaire. Like and I'm like, and myself, I'm like, should I have dropped out? And just because she was, <laughs> no, 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 literally, she was working, like, just, you know, she was doing a sales job that she, she catapulted that sales job to creating her own business and doing mm. this and doing that. So, literally, I went to school and I was learning and I was getting all these A's and things, but I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm still in my trajectory to being a millionaire because I'm mm. going to be a millionaire. Okay. Okay. But, but she was a millionaire in her tw in like early twenties. But you know, and like, like the, you know, the background knowledge she had from school also helped her to think smart, which is also necessary because but you can't she just. Had grow more. Up. She didn't quit. She had more. No, she's talking about the dropout girl. Yeah. You can't just grow up in one village in Umbolungbolo and you never went to school. You don't even know one plus one, two, and then you But you don't have to sell ground nuts and double that. So and you just oh, become and but, but, that's, but that's knowledge Very, as well. Yeah. You've been able to sell granite or whatever. Yeah. The knowledge you didn't just pick granite and say, I'm going to sell this granite. Somebody must have taught you something. There's a different, there, there are different types of education. So Both not academic, 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 formal, and going practical. To school, okay, okay, formal. Say that. Yes. Just so formal education. Going back to the question, mm -hmm. right? Your question was that, to, is higher education needed when you're rich? Like I said before, it is needed. Now, you're saying that you had a friend who's mm -hmm. a millionaire. Granted, the thing is, a lot of these people that make money, mm -hmm. if you check it well, a lot of them still go back to get their degrees. A lot she of them didn't. go back to get... She still... She's, she she's, did. How old is she, she now? She's still young, right? She did this. You don't know if she's she still going she to... Had, she's already a had lot two of babies. Them, a lot she's of them, at the end of the day, they end up getting the degrees because mm -hmm. I, I mean, I was in school. I had 60-year-olds in class with me. Mm -hmm. All right? It's never that's too late for you to get your education. So even when you do make your money, some of them still go back. A lot of them still go back and get... They know now that okay, in the business world, mm. you get more audience when you are educated. You have yeah. that, yeah. 
hip hop back in now. Okay, you know, listen. Because Cardi paper, B's getting a lot of I'm, audiences. She how educated is she? Ooh, you can, I'm just but, asking. But, but I mean, you can. Paper. She's, she's, um, she's an she's entertainer, just in though. Tweens. She's you an entertainer. Cardi has but talking about it is different too because like, you can but use people that are entertainment. That's the reason why he's saying what he's saying. Yeah, he's an entertainer. An entertainer, business world. That too. Go to Wall Street and say, "Oh, I don't have my degree," and I'm going, "Uh, uh, how far?" But then what happens if you lose your voice? Because you can lose your voice. That too. What like you want? You want a safety net to fall on, and that would be your your degree because with your degree you have there are different other venues you can venture into mm -hmm. because you have your degree it opens a lot of a lot of doors for you it, it, it actually multiplies your options yes, as exactly. to what you yeah. can you know, tap the into degrees and all of that you're saying it's all jobs. cute but I, for me i would yeah. rather preach more better your skills your talents yes. because how many of us when we travel back home to Africa, we, we, we see our classmates. Mm -hmm. And those classmates were one of the smartest people. Hiding Smart their work. Hiding, yes. hiding their work. They don't want you to copy They're them. like this. <laughs> and what are they doing right now? They have the degrees. They went to university. What are they doing right now? Well, if you want me to answer, yes. some of the ones that I know in my classroom are doing mm. pretty well. Why like, like, what, what school was that? Like three out of fifty. What school was that? They used to hide their, they used to hide their work. Because I, I, I said it's true. They actually used to, Taiwan, can they used to hide your work on people? Uh, oh, I can't mention names. They used to <laughs> mention names. I can't you. mention. But they're all doing yeah. really mm -hmm. well. They're, some of them are in the IT department. Some of them are in project management. Mm -hmm. One of them works by Essentia, um, Femi. They're all doing great. But I'm saying, it's also for it still falls back on education. Education goes but, a long way. Yeah. When you come with when you come with the knowledge that you acquire from it from school, right? To a place where you don't know, like somewhere like America, you know better to you know what you're looking for, you mm -hmm. know the skills that you know you need to put in front of your, your C V to get for get a job. All these things play. It's knowledge that you acquired while you were in school. You might not That's know great. it. But from sometimes reading you don't acquire that knowledge like that. in school. Let me tell you the reason why I said that. Street smart is different. Well, so. let me tell you the reason why I said that. Right, mm -hmm. because some of these teachers in Africa they don't fo focus on the talent and the skills. <laughs> they sure they just want you to pass the math, science, mm -hmm. pre-tech, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. one religious and moral education. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I don't want to be a pastor, so why am I studying religious and moral education? <laughs> you know when on. I was in school, when I was <laughs> when Late I was night vigil. <laughs> when I was in school, shout out to Saint Monica and shout out to Datus, mm -hmm. I talked a lot. Mm. I believe you. I was always yapping. My mm. name was always on the names of talkers. Oh my god! <laughs> Somebody like me, Charlie <laughs> times ten. Charlie, I need to be the class, I'm on. sure the classroom they want to say write the names of noisemaker. The yeah, first right, name is Charlie. Charlie. Yeah, and I remember you don't even have to say anything. And I remember one girl too. Her name was Victoria. Yeah. She could sketch like there's no like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. Wow. And that person right there wanted to be a fashion designer, yeah. but wow. the teachers are beating her. The, the teachers say, "Why are you always drawing when I'm doing this?" They're not focusing on the talent. Hey, that person might not need college, oh. That person just needed uh, uh how you call it like mm. somebody to teach her yeah. crash, how to craft programs exactly yeah, but, skills, but we're not, we're not doing that and i feel like the higher education school. nowadays has become like a social way of the like competition oh my Looking daughter down. went to eh. yale university eh. like that. how bad <laughs> and you know and, and some of these parents also pressured um yes. us to go to college yes, mm -hmm. yes. like let's be real but yes. you know? that, do you think that that i don't see it as a bad thing that they pressure you to go to college i mean yeah. that's the reason why a lot of the countries in africa are known to have the highest number of, of graduates. But, but the but graduates don't have jobs. They don't have jobs. That's, yeah. that's because but our economy, our leaders have failed us. You cannot fault the leaders for the fact that we, our education, you can't, you can't put the two of them together. You, yeah. your education own personal decision to get, to get you education. Your son or you won't say that. Do. Exactly. Mama, I want to be a barber. Yes. yes. So you go want to be a barber, yeah, but you yeah, still go to school. Now, there's nothing wrong with you going to school. Like I said, they have vocational schools for all the things you're mentioning. Being a sketch artist, you being a fashion designer, being able to, shout out to Kamate, that's Make them all, this. Yeah. all these things, there are schools yeah. for these things, and and you you bettering your skills housewife? or making your uh, sorry, the school for they housewife? had they used to have um what's the word they had used to have etiquette schools schools of etiquette okay. where you go to and they teach you how to be a lady and how to spread how it. to how to I don't know about spread <laughs> it spread it what kind of school is that I don't know about spread, spread it one oh one Charlie this is not <laughs> Germany I, mean, not I, think, I think I think the advice for him is that if you are going to choose a route of not going to school or doing whatever invest your money in Real, real estate, do something, do something. But that real estate, yes, you still need education. education on that. No, you can't I mean, just think, give I mean, your money out to people. No, I'm yeah. not saying, I'm not saying you give your money out. Of course, estate. do your research. It's nothing, like it's the, not thing research, about, it's the thing about, the thing about education has nothing to do, like, it literally is about you knowing how to, how, what's, what's, how you're gonna double your money. Like, a lot of the billionaires in this world, 
did not finish school. You I just said that. that. So he doesn't need education to double his money or to have investments. Hold on. I don't Six. like the fact that you guys keep saying I love the billion billionaires in this yeah. world do not they don't have education. You don't know what kind of education they've acquired. Even Most though it might not it might not be it actual so they feel like they have formal they education but, Spitfire. Yeah. Not, yeah. not a formal education they now. Don't, some of them don't have formal education. Yeah, but they, to an extent they dropped out though. They went to school and then they dropped out. That's education. Homeboy finished from secondary school and said he's not going any further. Mind you what you learn in secondary That's school, business, what you learn in secondary school and what you learn in the university, even if you totally go up to two years and then you drop out, it's completely different because the moment you get into university, they, are, they open your eyes to a lot of, a lot of things that you didn't know about. It's a completely right. different ballgame from being in secondary school. In fact, they don't even continue from what you learned in secondary school. They just go from a different angle. Mm. So you can't compare. Him doesn't have, when it comes to Formal, formal, like proper yeah. formal. Like he has nothing. But just to talk about, just to talk about Charlie. I have a, I have an animator friend in Ghana. There's no animation in school in Ghana, right? Mm. He taught himself through YouTube, mm. and he's an amazing um, uh, mm. animator. Aluta, shout out to Aluta, the great. Mm -hmm. That's his, and he taught himself on YouTube. So he didn't need to go to a formal school. He taught himself how to 3D animate off of YouTube. So yeah. literally, formal education is not the gold standard anymore. For, it for is for you to learn different yeah. ways of learning. But you know that that same YouTube came as a mm -hmm. result of formal education. education. Understand, understandable. All the technological advancement came as a result of formal Literally, education. Because so formal education is the foundation. No, sometimes, sometimes it's really not. You branch off from that error. into the street. You all these your street smarts. It's still from mm. the same formal education. Yeah, it's the foundation. You, you let can me say die this. with your let ideas. Let me say this. A lot of all no these education. artists, right? A lot of the great artists that that crashed in terms of like their money wise and all whatnot. A lot of them did not have the formal education that we all seek. Mm -hmm. That we're talking about right now. And as a result, their money managers would throw documents in front of them with different figures on top of it, sign. and they would sign, not even understanding what they're signing because they did not have the know-how to understand that document. Mm -hmm. This is what formal education presents you with. Mm -hmm. You have the grounds to learn a lot of things across the board. What and what? Like for instance, you go to you go. To to, um, you go to you go to the university. Mm. They have you first take an array of subjects in different like, dif that different you courses need. that you is, don't need because they want you. To, you no think you don't need it, but it actually gives you. You want to expand, you expand your mental. Listen, I'm not going to be using that Charlie, ballet class that I took in there are, there are educated artists that have <laughs> lost money, so it really mm -hmm. no formal education can really open your eyes to where people are putting different words and different things. Literally, there's no. So then I need a recall because I took a bunch of classes that I didn't really need. You do in it's, college, like the ballet back. class that I took. Uh -huh. you what took ballet? I, I did. Why did they give you ballet? That's why I'm a great dancer. <laughs> well, see, see, what am I going to use that class my point. Then you not see what you did now. Listen, you know, that's my percent of students that start up with their bachelor's degree don't don't finish. Mm -hmm. So you know? don't use it too. So then, what so. happened to the man? Because. Mm -hmm. Another maybe another factor is because you have to pay. It's not free. It's not to go to college yeah, unless you're really really smart, yeah. and then you get scholarship. Hey, it is exactly. that you know. <laughs> so then, what happens to that? You mm -hmm. wanted to go to college and have higher education. Yes. Are you gonna pay this? Well, in I don't know about yes. other places, yeah. but in New York, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wait, okay. wait, it's not. No, you guys should not be attacking us. I mean, 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 I school mm. it is not a lost investment it's not. I, I, went to school. I went to school I get, said your go formal, to school. Yeah, get your formal education don't pay attention to author and there's a saying you don't need it because you're rich nobody even when said you're that rich too. nobody said that no, but even, I have my bachelor's even so don't, when you're don't rich to speak. all of them here are all educated mind you we all have our certificates yeah, no. but when you, even say. when you're rich make sure that you go to school get some kind of Knowledge education kind of even education. if it is a certification <laughs> in a particular field Diploma do something even in your arts I'm glad you something. said that, but I'm also saying that they it's should okay. Your money. No, no, no. I'm also saying that yeah. it's okay if you look within yourself and you find out that it's not for you. It's not for everybody. But there is something, not for but everybody. There is something that you want to sharpen your, your knowledge on, though. You're but an artist. You probably want to. Offer me. That's what I'm saying. Either way, it's still a formal. No, okay, school, let me break school. it down like this. So, your own, I think I understand why you're arguing though, your argument. Mm -hmm. Your idea of formal education is when you go to the university and graduate with a bachelor's degree in accounting or whatever. Mm -hmm. They are school. Schools now, acting now, schools. The, even Every even team. then, Seth, oh, it's yeah. just that we went. Have, the, in, even Africa, then, they didn't have a lot of in Africa, they just did not allow you do those things because mm -hmm. in school they had they, they had okay. department yeah, of, of theater, they, they, they had they, they had department of performing arts and all. But just the, you telling your parent that you want to be an artist is like eh. 
Mm. In my own house, yeah, when, but that, but when this person's mother is a doctor is and a lawyer, based, that's what former the definition this of a former classrooms education. classrooms as well. When you go to a dance studio mm -hmm. and you sign up for and you get a certificate from performing arts, you go mm -hmm. to New York Film Academy. What do you think those are? Those are our formal education. You get certificates that certify you to be a director, certify certify you to be an artist or be an actor or screen screenwriter. Mm -hmm. Those are formal schools. Mm -hmm. So if this is your skill. Perfect your skill Perfect by your going skill. to school. Don't say I'm going to go on YouTube so and do. If you have the money to Even do this, it, go ahead oh, and get the job. You, you yeah, have yeah. a certificate. She has one. No, I have one. He has. Even this so industry. What did he do? Even, this, <laughs> this, <laughs> this, <laughs> Even <laughs> this industry that he's thinking because he's so successful, he doesn't need education. Do you know that the biggest artists in the industry they are still getting some form of. Vo vocal training that they are paying for. That's a type of education. Even Beyonce. But, I mean, we're talking even about formal <coughs> education. You guys keep talking. I'm glad that you're bringing really? all these different mm -hmm. kinds of levels it's of education. It's classroom based. What he, his thing he just said, he said he's not going back Did to Beyonce formal Did Beyonce go to school. college? She didn't even. She just got her GED recently. Oh, oh she got something. But just recently, but yeah, she but she's she a millionaire. But it's just she. But, but a, she knows a, a, the a GED. Of what she's doing. But the thing about it is that you're talking about formal education. Education comes in different levels. Just say, get your education in whatever form will yes, move you ahead. That. But that's life. what I said. And that's it. it. Our chiefs didn't they go to college. Didn't. But your chiefs because... pay for their children to go to school. What's your point? What's your point? Your chiefs' children went to school, and when they come back, they'll brought to this to the community that hey, my son just came out. From it's bragging rights. Yeah. It's, but, it's okay. Is to it be better than yeah. the child. Charlie, our chiefs didn't go to college. That's why they sold us to the other people because yeah. they were not Ooh, educated. Speak on it. Yeah. Because they knew nothing. Everybody was, oh, take, take, oh, music, go, take, take, take my people. Education is paramount. He's an artist. There are other greater artists that are bigger than him in Africa that actually know the importance of education. The likes of Davido. Mm -hmm. He actually still graduated despite all the success and fame because he mm -hmm. knows it's paramount. But that you was have his to have choice. a say when you go to you when you go to so are we talking about, I'm not choice. saying Atom must go to school, but what he's preaching is not necessary. It's not right. He's saying that he doesn't need education. This is what would work for him. Statement. It's okay, not yours. But, oh, if that's his statement, then why are we talking about no, it? No, but the because question, I'm, no, I'm also wait. thinking of the same way So we are trying is. to tell Charlie, them that his statement is not the best way to you, go. You are trying to tell them, no, not me. I am trying to tell them. Charlie's, your question, I don't know. Is it me that don't understand the question? My question was formal education. We've spoken about it. Formal education is when you are in the classroom, mama. That's formal education. It's higher education studies. All of that. Your yeah. question no, is, do you necessarily need higher education, education when yeah. you're rich? It, yes. Formal way. Like I said mm -hmm. before, third time I'm going to say it. <laughs> yes, you mm -hmm. need formal education even when you're rich. Yes, mm. that's the point. Even whether that's you're poor, you're rich, you need it. Like I said, you don't never know. You're rich, you can be poor tomorrow, my guy. People lose money. And when you lose money, what's your safety net? And sometimes it's because what of lack of education. Of the poor people yeah. that have the certificate. They have certificate. Because they have a certificate. So many people. <laughs> you, you have so the potential of getting a job. They are doctor, 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 this and doctor, that. You they are using have no words money. like it's eventually it's and potentially. Yeah, we want now. now. Money You're now. Money now. Baby, baby, money now. You want to be the ground. Because one day, one day, we'll shall be well. Yeah, we now. Yeah, but the point, the facts, the point we're talking about is: is it necessary? To have formal education when you are rich, we're not talking about the public. All right, so all right, okay. so let's That's go. That's the question, and let's I say ask yes. Viewers. Yeah, viewers, okay. comment below, chime please in below. Oh, let us know your thoughts on, on this Let me get to know. <laughs> if money in hand, All right, we have to go. We love <laughs> you for watching. <laughs> Can I close the show? We yeah, love you guys. School. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you liked this episode, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you next time.